Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And for you guys, I'm going to be scaling Gumball Christopher Watterson, the protagonist of the Cartoon Network series, The Amazing World of Gumball. And today we'll be seeing how strong he is. Now, I'm unaware of this, but this was the last upload that I'm recording in this set. Uh, the last video I made in this video are being recorded in the same day. So whether or not I actually like make another video after this in a short time span is unknown. But what I will say is The Amazing World of Gumball is a great show and I love it a lot. And today we're going to be scaling its main character. If you guys do enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like, hit the red subscribe button. It always helps. And without further ado, let's get into this video right now. Looking at Gumball Waterson, there are so many things he can do from being able to regenerate himself to being able to learn martial arts. He was even able to use age manipulation and was able to hypnotize Larry with a pocket watch and Darwin without it. He was able to make and cause explosions by running into them. He was also able to build up his own toxicity and expunge it although doing so drastically weakens him until he releases it. Gumball Waterson also has reality warping and tune force because upon activation, the console will force the surrendering environment into a video game. And he even has accelerated development because Gumball, Darn, and Aes became stronger by attacking random citizens and animals. When looking at plot manipulation that Gumball also has along with time manipulation, we can see him throughout the series be able to fast forward in slow motion and loop Time stopped because he was able to pause, freeze his time for everybody except for the user and opponent. And it has BFR slash portal minute creation because he was able to open a portal to the void. When looking at Gumball, he also is able to use summoning because he calls in Gumball's parents, grandmother, and friends or assistance in battle. Although I would not be using that mainly because that's just a thing he can do kind of with a cell phone. He also has emotional manipulation. Anybody who gets hit will fall in love with the next person they see. And he accidentally shrunk down a car Larry was in. And upon consumption, Hector was also shrunk, albeit to the size of a human. Now we can look at the attack potency and we'll get to the speed for Gumball Waterson right now. Gumball at the most earliest of his interpretation is small city level. This is, well, small town level to be exact because he was easily comparable to Darwin, who once sneezed with enough force to send every object in town into the air, destroy several houses at once, and blast Banana Joe and his parents to China. The average mass of banana is 647 grams. Elmore is in California, and the distance from California to China is 10.762 kilometers. There are three bananas, which means we have to multiply 1941 by 10.762 by doing that it turns out darwin had to sneeze with a force of 2.348 kilotons can spar with nicole who can create a multi-block shockwave and should be comparable to penny who scorched parts of a forest can hurt miss robinson who only had minor burns after being in a large oil explosion can generally trade blows with those who can harm him now, to further his small town level scaling, we have by himself higher with male power, 2000 greatly boosts his strength to where he one shot Tina Rex with a dodgeball. Tina is consistently portrayed as much stronger than base gumball, at least multi solar system level, likely universal level, with the console's reality warping. The console was capable of warping the entire universe into its game. This was backed up by NIE's own statement and the starry background in Richard's attack. However, this was not performed out of raw physical strength. With the universe remote and magic notebook, we can say that he probably has multiversal levels of power, but both do not focus on raw destruction. When looking at Gumball's fastest speeds, his ultimate and final speed is hypersonic because he ran so fast that he left a trail of flames behind. He pedaled a tricycle to where he was set ablaze and played a video game so intensively that his thumbs were caught on fire. All of these will require him to move at Mach 5. He can outrun Nicole, who can also produce fire from running as well as run faster than the speed of sound. 
can appear as a blur, can run to where the background appears blurry. He and Darwin mowed Mr. Robinson's lawn with a nail clipper in five seconds. And in the same episode, they painted his fence in under a second several times and got rid of a stain before anybody noticed. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. We can say that Gumball Scaling is Multiversal Plus with the Universal Remote and Magic Notebook or Universal Level with the console's Reality Warping. Either interpretation you take is fine, considering this is educational, but I think the Universal Level one is more, you know, my speed. When we look at his speed, it's hypersonic because, well, what I just detailed. And I'll just say one more time, because he and Darwin mowed Mr. Robinson's lawn with a nail clipper in five seconds and in the same episode. So that's hypersonic speed and universal level power or multiverse level plus if you allow him to have the universal remote and magic notebook. If you guys did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for all the support in our previous videos. And I can never say this enough. I'll never be able to say this enough. Thank you. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, let me get up out of here. Hope you have a nice day.